out of Canada, people. I'm the winner this week. This is, um, let's watch this video. This is what I was going to start with. It wouldn't make you gag, maybe by extension. All right, ratio of the week time. The winner this week is Justin Trudeau's chief of staff, Katie Telford. Last week, Telford shared an article like by The Guardian, which had to be community noted and fact checked okay. on Twitter because it's just not true. The out of context headline, Canada has zero pro-choice conservative MPs, Watchdog says. The fact check under Katie Telford's tweet says this, Bill C-311 is a 78 word bill that does not contain the word abortion. The bill is to protect a pregnant woman with aggravating circumstances. We can skip the rest of this. The bottom line is Katie Telford said, uh, Canada has zero pro-choice conservative MPs. Let's get to the part of this. Uh, let's get to the part of this where I discovered, like the rest that's of the that. world, that there are conservatives in Canada who believe in uh, sex-based uh, abortions. House of Commons voted against a bill that would protect pregnant women. And the reality is that headline couldn't be further from the truth because a majority of conservatives voted to allow sex-selective abortions in this country. How very conservative. So set aside whether or not we're going to fight over whether or not those Canadian conservatives are conservatives. Katie Telford, for those of you who don't know, tied to the liberal uh, Justin Trudeau regime. Liar. 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 Like, it's not like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that there were no uh, pro-choice conservatives out there. I didn't know that the conservatives also voted unanimously to support the conversion ban uh, bill out of, in Canada. I, I didn't know that. Liars shameless lies well they've got their new talking point by the way and it's it's mind-blowing in its diabolical pathology katie telford poilier's conservative party embracing language of mainstream conspiracy theories first of all coming from ctv news now it's a canadian press so it's like um it's a syndicated article so you're going to see the exact same article being run by ctv news cbc Oh, what's Katie Telford's position again? Let me just see here. Tweets are personal views. Chief of staff to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Les opinions exprimées ici sont personnelles. Ils sont, ils, les opinions exprimées ici sont des mensonges tabarouettes. They're lies, your opinions, Katie. They're not opinions. They're lies. Zero pro... Okay. Chef du cabinet du Premier ministre Trudeau. Oh, tabarnouche que c'est bon. Liar. May I ask just one question, Katie Telford? What is a mainstream conspiracy theory? It sounds like a mainstream conspira conspiracy theory is actually just truth. But let's go to the article because what does the article say? Liars, liars, and liars. Look at this. Poilier's conservative party embracing language of mainstream conspiracy theories. Conservative leader Poilier has hit, been hitting the summer barbecue circuit ramped up with rhetoric around debunked claims that the World Economic Forum is attempting to impose its agenda on sovereign governments. It is, some experts suggest, another sign that some conspiracy theories are moving from the fringes of the internet to the mainstream thinking as people's distrust of government grows. I'll give everybody the article, but uh, let me just let me just do one thing here. Does, does everybody forget? Like it, it's oh, people are wrongly believing that the WEF, Klaus Schwab, penetrates the cabinet. Does everybody remember that clip? Oh, no, it's, 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 it's a mainstream conspiracy theory that the WEF is trying to exercise its control or influence policy of sovereign nations. It's a conspiracy theory. You pathological liar, Katie Telford. Now names like Mrs. Merkel. There's uh, audio problems here. That's even, not me. Uh, Vladimir Putin and so on. They all have been young global leaders of oh, the yes, World Economic yeah. Forum. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, what we house. are very proud of yes. now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, uh, who did you say? President, Prime Minister Trudeau. Oh, one more Prime time. Minister Trudeau. Oh, yes. um, President. Please, please to be telling us, Klaus Schwab, what have you done to Prime Minister Trudeau? I believe it involves the penetration. And of of uh, Argentina and so on. So we penetrate the oh. cabinets. So yesterday I was on a research. Hold on. So we penetrate the cabinet. So we penetrate the cabinets. By the way, one thing you don't want to hear is a German saying, I will penetrate the cabinet. So yesterday I was on a rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau. And I would know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of uh, half of this cabinet, are 
for our actually young global leaders of the world economy. Right. Also auch vor our global leaders, ja, uns. Uns Klaus Schwab has uns uh, penetrated the cabinet. But Katie is a telephone with her state-sponsored media tells us it's a mainstream conspiracy theory. Ooh, ooh. And, and it's not one. It, you get them all doing it now. It's the, it's the narrative of the day that uh, Pierre Poilievre is espousing mainstream conspiracy theories that the WEF is using its influence to enforce, effect, implement policy on sovereign nations. Oh, and we also forgot when we are talking about how they have penetrated the cabinet. I know all of you watching have seen this. Reject all the cookies. Do you know who Christa Freeland is? She's the deputy prime minister and minister of finance of Canada. And she is the author of the, I don't know, whatever. The Honorable Christian Freeland is deputy is Canada's deputy prime minister and minister of finance. Oh, Miss Freeland was first. Who gets this? Okay. Oh, but let's just let us go down to the end. Yeah. She was also awarded the Eric M. Warburg Award by the Atlantic Brücke for her achievements in strengthening transatlantic ties. Hmm, what does that sound like? In 2020, she was awarded the Freedom House's Mark Palmer Prize in recognition of her years of work in championing democracy and human rights. Bullshit. Und she is a member of the Forum's Board of Trustees. Oof. It's a conspiracy theory. If you think that it, it's if you think that it's true, you're a crazy conspiracy theorist, a mainstream conspiracy theorist at this point. Oh, but I forgot to do. Do we do the exercise that we um uh just Google Justin Trudeau, WEF, you'll see a beautiful landing page. Google Jugmeet Singh, WEF, you'll see a beautiful landing page on the WEF. Yeah, but it, it's a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy theory that the WEF is trying to influence or have an impact on policy of foreign nations. Okay. But speaking of the liars, the Canadian pathological tyrants, so-called liberals. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe they still call themselves liberals? Um, just a couple more that they're a couple more lies that they're promoting right now. They're demonizing Roman Baber. He's apparently, I guess, he got picked up by the Conservative Party. G good pickup, Conservatives. He might be the only he might be the only person I'd ever vote for, despite the fact that he now identifies as conservative. They are railing against um, Roman Baber, Talib Nur Muhammad. Writes about Roman Baber. Wait for the punchline for this. Too extreme for Ford Nation, Baber is just right for the pro-convoy, anti-science, misogynist, rage-farming coalition Poilievre is trying to build. Hmm, that sounds a little bit like rage-farming right there, Talib. I look forward to seeing my friend at Hukim. That's one person who I went to uh, dunk on and then I forgot. Oh yeah, the, 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 the piece of political rubbish has already blocked me. I don't blame him for it, uh, but he has. Then you get another person, Emmett McFarlane. And he's got a Ukrainian flag in his bio before the Canadian flag. So you know what you're about to see is going to be intellectual diarrhea. Your federal conservatives under Polyev are so radically far right, they are taking on anti-vax, anti-public health candidates that were so mercilessly ignorant and immoral that Doug Ford booted them from the his caucus, making fun of Roman Baber yet again. Roman Baber, for those of you who don't know, I've had him on the channel, is a Jewish immigrant from Soviet Russia. These liberal, liberal idiots are calling a Jewish refugee from Soviet Russia, far-right conspiracy theorists, anti-vaxxer, whatever. These people are the worst people on earth. And by these people, yes, I mean liberals. And I mean liberal politicians, not liberal citizens. Although, you know, at some point, if you continue to vote for this rubbish, I don't know what that says about you. All right. That's the Canadian angle for today. Enjoy.